Now that we understand what chemical evolution involves and what the hypothesis states behind this form or this origin of life, we can now look at the four basic requirements for chemical evolution to occur. So let's write that down. For chemical evolution to happen, we need four requirements. All of these must be met so that we have the origin of life. So the first requirement is an interesting one. It's actually the lack of free oxygen, a low amount of free oxygen. Why do we want a low amount of free oxygen? We're, we've always been led to believe that oxygen is something that life absolutely needs. But what we have to understand is that early on, life did not want free oxygen, did not want oxygen because oxygen does one thing. Oxygen oxidizes. This is something that's not positive for life to develop, to start, to be born, because oxidation or oxidizing is something that all you need to know causes bonds to break. So it breaks bonds, breaks chemical bonds. It's not good for chemical bonds to form. And look what we're talking about. We're talking about the chemical evolution. If we want chemical bonds to form in the stepwise form of life developing, we cannot have oxygen. So we need to make sure there's a low amount of oxygen. What do we actually want? If we have a low amount of oxygen, then we finally have a low amount of oxidation. A low amount of oxidation also is equal to the same thing as an increased amount, and the opposite of oxidation is reduction. Increased reduction means that we have not the breaking of bonds, but now, because we have a low amount of O2, we have a low amount of oxidation, we have an increased reduction, we have the making of bonds, not the breaking. So we make bonds. This is our first requirement. Requirement number one, low free oxygen. Not a lot of oxygen in the atmosphere is good in this situation. The next requirement that we absolutely need, and we can draw this out right over here, number two, is a source of energy. We need a source of, let me just put the C right there, source of energy. What type of energy do we see early on, about 3.5 billion years ago? Very interesting energy. What we see is, I like to call it the crazy earth energy. What do I mean by this? Crazy earth energy means there was violent thunderstorms going on. There was tons of lightning and volcanoes and meteorites and radiation all happening about 3.5 billion years ago that provided this chemical evolution a source of energy to be sparked. And we'll look at this spark in a little bit more detail when we talk about the experiments that helped prove this chemical evolution hypothesis. So we have energy, crazy earth energy, because of those thunderstorms, lightning, volcanoes, whatever. So we have two things. Now we have the third requirement. Uh, we need a basic chemical building blocks. If we're going to have chemical evolution happen, we obviously need chemicals. And these are chemical building blocks. These are necessary for life to develop. Life starts at the chemical level, and the chemical building blocks that we see early on, about 3.5 billion years ago, are things like water, H2O, um, some inorganic molecules, we could say. Inorganic molecules are also part of building the chemical building blocks. And then the atmosphere also has a very important role in this. The atmosphere provides different things, it provides things like CO2 provides uh, even vapor, water vapor, so H2O also. Carbon monoxide was very highly prevalent. Hydrogen, free hydrogen was prevalent. Things like hydrogen, dihydrogen sulfide, um, even nitrogen. Uh, what else do we have? We have NH3, all of these things. Methane, these are chemical building blocks, absolutely necessary for chemical evolution to occur. So take some building blocks, take some energy, Make sure there's not that much oxygen, and you have yourself a good starting point for chemical evolution. What's the last thing we need? We need time. Time. What do I mean by this? We need millions and billions of years. Millions, maybe even billions of years for chemical evolution to happen. Evolution is not a process that happens overnight. It doesn't happen over the course of one, two, three thousand years. It takes millions and billions of years.